intersecting and stuff like that, but sometimes it's very hard to do. All right, so it's kind of a rough, rough straight. One's more out and about, although I believe that part is actually part fringe. Yeah, like that. More so. Tricky. So I would imagine they're all going to kind of spike backwards a bit. Actually, that's not that bad. Yeah, like that, probably. No. Yeah, that, more or less. All right. This had to be the hardest fucking style of hair I ever fucking drew, I swear. The moment I'm trying for it not to just be close enough is good enough by actually like getting stuff that actually goes where it's supposed to be. Something like that. Not sure where this is supposed to connect to. Very hard to tell. Hmm. That's better. Pixel there. Close that up. Not the greatest, but whatever. Actually, that wasn't that bad, that last bit. I don't, I'll just redo the last one. That's fine. It is whatever. Something like that. All right. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's such an effort. <laughs> it doesn't look too off. That side, as annoying as it is, is probably as correct as I can get that. This side, though. So what I noticed was not this line here. I remove that. That definitely came down. That stuck out. Um... I do think that that went up like that, this one. I actually think that hooked around. Yeah, probably actually. Yep, yeah, like that. Not quite. That. Nah. Actually, that's kind of right. Yeah, about there. Ah, oh, sorry, I didn't see your message before, Azul. Spook time, is it? I turned my um, headset volume down before. Um, so I just sort of looked over because uh, when I'm drawing, the um, messages don't come up on my screen the way it does when I'm playing a game. So I actively have to remember to look over at chat. And um, I was just really hyper-focused on this for a moment there. I didn't mean to ignore you. I'm sorry about that. Hopefully you didn't wait too long before I actually noticed. Um, but I'm drawing me. So, yeah. Um, this is the other half of what I was working on last time I did an art stream. I'm not going to probably finish it tonight, but I'll get pretty far along. I need to research whatever fucking color her shoes are supposed to be because I don't remember. 
been so long because this is from 2011. So back in 2011, I used to draw a lot. And then I had an injury that did my back, neck, and hips and fucked me over for years. And I wasn't able to sit down and just draw. So I ended up getting rid of all of my drawing equipment and just giving up drawing and stuff at the time. And obviously, as you can see, like my avatar and stuff, I've been drawing since. Um, but this is a free program called GIMP and I'm using my mouse and uh, we're pretty much up to her fringe hair at the moment. I haven't done a socks or anything like that, but I've got a heap of stuff. I'll enable after I get this fringe done to show you how it's looking. But I've got like most of my colors and stuff done. I've got two different varieties of a shirt and skirt and stuff. But um, yeah, it's super hard to redraw her because back then I was so advanced drawing that like I had this one mistake up here and you can barely even see it and I had a couple of mistakes here with this foot and the rest of it as you can see is very very smooth lines they're one pass over in most cases you know so it's very hard to recreate that especially for mouse you know over a decade later plus tonight um funny story is I um I had some music playing at the beginning of stream that got into some mildly inappropriate songs. While my music won't be on my VOD or on YouTube, um, it was still too inappropriate for my channel in general. So I had to race in here to change it and I ended up um, falling over and hurting myself pretty badly. So um, I've taken some painkillers since. And they've started to work, but I'm pretty sure my foot is swollen and it's gone numb hours ago now. But, yeah, it it was definitely something. Um, so, yeah, before I even started streaming tonight, I was crying because <laughs> I was in pain. Um, I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to, like, fucking run in here and fall over, but it happened what happens when you like leave a playlist that's normally acceptable in your own time running and because I don't have to worry about being on my VOD and stuff I didn't worry about what kind of songs would be in here actually this one can change yeah that's all right that's a nice one get this up here I'm just trying to fix up the edges of her hair at the moment. I'm trying to figure out where all these like really hyper tiny lines are supposed to go for her fringe. And I think now that one's connected. I keep looking at that and thinking that it's not connected, but it is. I actually think it's not connected there. Yeah, it goes down more like this. I'm not a very fast drawer, but I'm trying to get my practice back up. This I haven't drawn for so many years. Um, especially since the last time I was back drawing and stuff, I used to have a tablet and a proper drawing program and stuff, like a Photoshop or whatever. So, yeah. Funny thing is, I think my favorite drawing program was actually uh, CS2 or something like that, which I think is actually a Corel one, which is kind of funny because I was ragging on it earlier but it was actually an okay program. The second one was. Later one wasn't. All right. I'll get rid of some of this inner line so I don't have to fucking manually select them. I mean, I'll miss some of them. They'll be fine. Ah, oh, that's not big enough. My voice keeps going too every so often. I'm not really sure why. Uh. Yeah, the drawing streams are not bad to come and hang out during because I tend to actually um, have more time to just, like, chat and stuff. There's less, less concern about if I'm going to, like, hit something or miss something. And, um, yeah. You guys get to listen to my music live. You only get to listen to it when it's live. It's not available any other time. 
that's kind of worth coming in watching for that. All right, I think I can get rid of that one. Get rid of some of these longer inlines. Don't need to be here. They'll just make it harder. Actually, I don't know about that. Eh. I think those are all bound together. That should be fine to go. All right, that's mostly fine. This is going to be a nightmare to paint in those little bits, but I'll find it. All right, finally ready. Probably should have made this more than fucking one line thick, but it's fine. All right. I got that selected. I just don't have the brown on this side selected. I'll get most of it. Um... All right, all that looks like it's mostly there. I can't do much about this section. It is what it is. Let's see, now over here. Yep. Okay, that. Um. Yeah, no, that got it, I think. I don't know where that part went. Please tell me I didn't just select, ah, oh, select the whole fucking thing. God damn it. All right, minus that, please. Okay, at least I can kind of do that. It's not going to be as fucking clean to fix it up. I got to go back and do it again. I probably could have done this in like a couple of sections. No, I don't want to go that way. I want to scroll in. I could have done this in a couple of sections and it probably would have made it a little bit easier for me. But not by much. Not probably enough um, to make it worth it. All right, got all that. I was nearly there before. Now I'm just oh, finding all the bits and pieces. Okay, I'll fill in those bits myself. I know I could select them, but I just don't want to select them and then fuck up and get something else again. Yeah. Yeah. And this bit again. Cool. So that should be all of her fringe. All enough. Like, it'll be fine. That is not fucking selected properly. What the fuck? It's so many. Oh, I've got it outwardly selected. Oh my god. Again. Here you go again. Ah. Uh, like the inside layer is that. Yes, that's just in the inside layer. Okay. Look, for now, we can turn off that, bring back this, make it a bit easier. I'm trying to mostly get, I guess it matters more that I get the um, parts that have got the black uh, colored bits more so than um, brown. Okay, that's all inward. This should be inward. Okay, that looks like it's right. I haven't got these outer bits yet. That is. It isn't. And this part isn't. It doesn't matter too much if I don't have the brown bits on it. It's the black bits that I want. Good enough. If this is working right. There we go. That fucking worked. Won't be perfect, but I can clean it up enough. Also, what the fuck is this line? Ah, uh, it's going to be on the other one, isn't it? Let's see. Fringe copy. There it is. Turn that one off again. 
All right, now we've got to clean this shit up. Not a one. Let's take you up a bit. So now what I basically need to see is probably the fringe copy above it so I can see what I'm doing. I paint it on this one. So let's get that, that. This is very much all these fucking spots are up to interpretation because of how I drew her fringe in the first place was very brushed looking anyway. That's the spot that needs to be cleaned. That is not on this layer. All right, I'm going to have to go around and tidy all this shit eventually, but I don't need to be doing that now. Oops. That is as a mess. Like a little dragon for a second there. That's cute. I think that one's come out from the line. There's a little bit of bleed through from where I put the lines. That's mostly fine. All right, the top bits like that will matter and stuff. Let's see. Get lines up and running. Uh, Let's get light skirt in that for a moment. Yeah, okay. So there's definitely some cleanup. Even the skin layer's got some cleanup needing to be done. But it's fine. Yeah. So now I don't have to worry about where her fringe is sitting because she's actually got like a head sort of spot in there. I do need to worry about that though. That is hair that's not colored right. All right, hold on. That is on the eraser. God damn it. Uh, that is layered wrong. That's fine. Uh, not behind that, just behind there. Yeah, that looks a little bit better. I was going to say, I'm like, I'm pretty sure she's got fringe over there. Yeah, that's better. Nice. So she will have like a little bit of hair that's sticking out in front of like her eyes and stuff, but that's not even really an issue. Um... Probably don't have a lot longer to go. I'll just do a little bit of cleanup on some of the dots around her skin and stuff that's like protruding, that's obvious, um, because that's easy enough to do. That's what happens when you select the outer lines. You can sometimes get a little bit of the bleed through of the color. It doesn't matter too much, but when it ends up like overlapping something else, it's a lot more obvious. Or, um, when you want something to look a little bit cleaner on like say a poster or something like that, it does matter. Um, I know that there was some up around her face. Um, so that's good that that part's working like that. I shouldn't need to worry about that because that will end up behind an earring, but that's fine. Where's her other arm? This will be harder. This is where I ended up putting in a new layout last time um, and just making it black because sometimes when you end up working with like something that's a really, really light fucking color, it ends up being really hard to see. Slap that down. There we go. That's nice and easy to see. Back up to skin. There's even some yellow and shit that's going over the edge there. So I'll have to come back to that. This is something that I never used to do and I really wish that I did this on a lot of my earlier stuff because there's nothing worse than finishing something and then finding out that you've got all this like overspray, especially when you do blending or use an airbrush. Um, if you use an airbrush tool, you can end up getting like a really bad like overspray pretty far. That's pretty good. Her skirt's got a bit. I'll pick a thing at a time. So her skin's been done. Um, I'll leave that up actually. Let's go to her hair. So the hair at the back here. This, like I said, was a little bit up to interpretation of getting this right. 
but it's mostly fine now. I'm not sure what's going on with that. Hold up. Ah, that's right. It was just kind of like painting around it. That's fine. That could go. Um, that bit can go. That bit's fine. I know what I was doing with that. That could be cleaned up a little bit. Mm. No. Yeah, it's a little bit better. Same could go for the other side, honestly. So I know that actually went down to a flat there, I'm pretty fucking sure. Yeah, it did. Well, in saying that too, does it look all right with that? Because, yeah, it kind of does. Yeah, it looks all right. Not too bad. I think the second part could have been probably left alone, though. Go back until it, yeah, I don't want that bit done. It's fine. I'll leave it as, like, slightly curled like that. That one was mostly fine. This. That shouldn't be going past there, I don't think. Ah, it should be. Hold up. This is why. Check. Might leave it on the lighter one. Actually, I'll tell you what. There's something else you can do with this too is take it down to about a half. Maybe even not that much. About there. That allows me to see what I'm doing and see that there's like an issue. But I can still see the lines because they're not the same color. That'll work better. Whoops. Wrong line. That one. That works. So this one. It's to be worth turning this to full black at the end just to make sure that these bits are more crisp. All right. Shouldn't have to worry about up here a little bit there. All right. Very hard to see up against red. But it looks mostly fine. There's a bit here, but that could be the fringe. As fringe, there's a bit here. Cool. All right, so that's done. Check the ribbon on the outside. It's got a bit. Hmm. <clears throat> All right, it's pretty good. There wasn't much bleed out from the red, actually, surprisingly. As far as all things go here, I was really expecting that to be the one. As far as fringe go, I actually need to turn off the back bit just to actually see where it actually bled out because there's a couple of bits like here. Don't look like they matter now. But they will matter when I actually am coloring stuff behind it. Like that. And this one. Because I'll be trying to color something or shadow something and those will be like sticking out like a sore fucking th thumb that I can't color because whatever they're sticking out from. Clean that up. That little bit there could do it for touch. Smaller brush. Like that. Now that one, where's the lines for that? The fringe and fringe copy, that could probably go like that. They'll do. Actually, fuck that last bit. That'll be fine where it is. Clean that. There needs to be skin in that spot. So hold up, let's fix that. This is why it's also good to have your layers and shit. There we go. Just like that. She's got skin where it's supposed to be there. If I was to hide that, I could see that it would have needed to do more like that.
All right, there we go. Turn a fringe back on. Get back on that layer. The fringe layer is mostly clean. There wasn't a lot of like main lines going over the top of her face to worry about in the first place. There's a couple like, that's fine. Those are pretty much fine. As for spiky as they are, they are kind of like what they're doing. They blend into the back of her hair anyway, so it's not like nobody cares. They'll, they'll be more of like a shading issue I'll have later. Um, I'll also end up removing some of these extra lines and stuff because when you end up zooming out, like I used to leave them all in, but it turns out a lot of shit looks better with less lines. So that's something I kind of learned over time. Let's see. I need to check on her other shirt too. Throw that on. Where's her other one? I I don't know if I've done that skirt yet, actually. Not yet. That shirt's bleeding down too. Mostly clear. Yeah, that shirt is bleeding out pretty hard. Let's get on this one. That would be a lot harder to see because it'd be closer to the same black that we've got. There's a spot up here. There. All right, skirt's fixed. Now this is where this is going to want to be full again, or at least a lot higher percentage like that. And also this whole lines one, I need this to go, and wherever the second one is there, that needs to go on both of them. All right, so what am I doing the shirt? Okay. Once this is all fixed up, I'll see if there's anybody. I don't know if there's anybody at this time that I can raid. It's usually not. Sometimes people. All right, that one's better. Let's have a look at the black shirt. This is when and I want this to be white. And this would help if I could invert that, actually. All right, hold up. Let's duplicate that layer. Make you guys white. And I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure there's a ability to just invert shit. Maybe not. Just having a look down the um, choices. It's fine. Doesn't matter too much. This is a furry animation. It's not. Um, I fucking wish I could draw furries. I can do anthro stuff, but this one's just me drawing me. Um, welcome in, by the way, Monkey Yak. Um, I do like an art stream like maybe once a month, and most of the time I play like a variety of games pretty consistently. So. I'm kind of like just getting back into the practice of drawing. I haven't for a very, very long time. That's on a paintbrush. I don't want a paintbrush. I want a pencil. Yeah. So generally speaking, like I used to draw a lot years ago and I got injured and I stopped. And as an incentive for people to come and watch me relearn drawing, music's available while I'm streaming it. It's not available in my VODs and stuff. All right, let's grab all this. I'm pretty sure I only need the shirt one. A futa. Um, not sure what futa is, sorry. I probably just don't know enough about the um, language and stuff. Let's see, it's mostly her body that I want for this. Get you to not black. I want you to be white. I'm not going to bother putting this through her hair because I don't need to. I mostly just need it through her shirt and skirt area. The rest of it can go. Just like that. That makes it a lot fucking easier. Uh, 
Um, yeah, I need this to happen over the top of, whoops, I need this to be over the top of um, her black shirt. It's taking off part of the shirt, God damn it! All right. Don't want, I was going to keep the skirt like that in case I wanted to make it like black or something like that, but I don't think I need to. Yeah. That should be fine. Um, let me just quickly look something up. Hmm. All right, back at it. Yeah, so I pretty much don't need these central lines and shit. I don't need her arm in it. It's the spot. That can happen sometimes when I'm like actually looking for bits. Let's get this smaller so I can work with it. Yeah, so I'm pretty unfamiliar with the program that I'm using. I'm getting there, but I've only had it for like part of this year and it is a free program. Um, I'm also using a mouse, which, you know, in the past I've used a tablet. Um, I don't have a mouse. I mean, I don't have a tablet and stuff anymore, so I'm just doing what I can with what I've got. I will keep those neckline things there because that'll be useful. All right. Nearly there. All right. Oh, so the only thing I want to fix up now is, uh, actually, fuck it. I'll leave those there. They'll be fine. So now when I enable her shirt to be black and I bring this up, above her fucking shirt, wherever it is. Not above the background, all lines white. Yeah, bring me up here. I don't know how that got so low on the list. There, there we go. All right, so this will help. And if I turn this black ground, if I was to turn it to like fully like black, it would help more, but it's fine. This will do it. There was a few spots where this bled through last time that I need to kind of like just check. I don't think it did as badly as, I don't think it did as badly as yellow did. I think these spots are where I actually moved it myself, but that's fine. Not there. So I did do it on that spot. I was expecting to see some down here because there was, there was some bleed through of the yellow along there, but there's not on this one. Well, at least that's not a problem. So if I grab, I'll leave the, that one, the fringe copy lines, get this. I don't want the ones from down there. I'll leave those shirts, eyebrows, jewels, eyelashes. All right. So that's basically where we're up to at the moment. I haven't done her socks and I haven't done her shoes. There is definitely some kind of, oh, that would be the white shirt lines. Yeah, all right. Yeah, that would be the all lines white sticking out there. All right, well, I could definitely take a second to fucking fix that because those aren't supposed to be sticking out. All as it is that they've gone past where the line is supposed to be. Um, Actually, hold up. If I turn off that one, what's it doing to it? Ah, eh, fuck it. It can stay where it is. Let's redo that last one. Cool. All right. So at the moment, she's got most of the colors and stuff. And that's fine. Got all of her lines done, which was a fucking nightmare, especially her hair. That was annoying. It'd be fun to kind of like play around with like um, eye colors and stuff like that because like, I like I like taking the time to do like the extra detail and shit on the eyes. I still got like her jewelry and stuff is in here, which you can't see because she's got the black shirt on. But if I change that over, um, yeah, I'll do like her jewelry and stuff later, and I'll get all of her palettes and shit up again, 
and the yeah so that's kind of where we're up to i could have taken the time to do the extra on the socks but i'm gonna stop for the night here because i stacked it before streaming and i think my painkillers are starting to wear off so i would rather go into the next bout of painkillers off stream um, and see how bad the damage is on my foot and i'll let you guys know what's happened as well like if I have like any further issues and stuff like that, I'll I'll update you guys in um Discord.